What's up guys, more Medic One. Hey, if you ever work on one of these steel four mixes that have the, uh, the clutch like this, and it's got the T27 bolts instead of the 10 millimeter bolts, they've done a running change on these. But what I want to show you is, is sometimes your little 12 volt rattle gun won't take these out. And I just normally make sure that my tool's on reverse and just hold the flywheel with my hand. And they're just stuck like Chuck. Let me show you a cool little trick I use with an oil filter wrench. Not only does this style of oil filter wrench is works fabulous for taking oil filters off, it's also an awesome flywheel holding tool. Check this out. Guys, this is like it was made to grip this flywheel. I mean, it goes right in between the fins there. You can catch it right on the fin there and right in between the fins here. So you've actually got three contact points to hold this flywheel with this oil filter wrench. This is pretty flippin' awesome, and I'll put a link in the description uh, where you can get this style of oil filter wrench. They make all different sizes. So there's actually, you know, there's actually not anything wrong here. It's just that the bolts are just tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my T27 on a ratchet. And I'm able to hold the flywheel and just put a little bit of extra torque via the ratchet. Ugh, and you should be able to get those right off of there. Mm, just like that. And then you can take your little tool and zip them right off. The reason this clutch is not working is because the spring is broken as you can tell. So I'm going to be replacing this clutch as well as the drum. As you can tell this is pretty grooved out. The easiest way to replace this drum is just to replace the housing it comes in one piece. This housing is broken anyway, so you would replace the fan housing and the clutch, and then your you know drive engagement system would be totally replaced. All you do is loosen the screw, and you should be able to pull that right off of there. Move your power head out of the way. So I'm going to bring these two parts. To my parts counter and guys I'll see you guys in a few minutes two hours later the parts guy was at lunch all right so when you get the new clutch there's the part number 4181 62,000 it's just gonna come in a little bag and your clutch is disassembled you'll have to assemble this clutch so basically what you do you just want to line up your corners there install your spring on both your holes and it's real simple where all we're going to do is just slide this clutch together like this right here and it'll pop right in place when you go to install your clutch be sure you install it, install it in the right orientation you want your arrows on both clutch shoes to be facing outwards. And then just install your plate and then your two screws. And you are good to go.
they did not have my fan housing in stock which it'll be here tomorrow but we'll just throw that on there real simple and just uh, put it all back together alrighty guys I hope that little shop hack uh, tool hack helped you out and if it did of course give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and while you're there go ahead and click that bell so that you'll get all my new notifications and videos y'all have a good rest of your day more medic one